Hey guys, Ryan here from Anglers, and welcome to Light Tackle Week. This week, we'll be dropping videos every day from a star-studded cast covering everything you need to know about light tackle fishing in the Chesapeake Bay. This will be leading up to our big light tackle sales event on Saturday, April 13th. For full details, visit our website at anglersannapolis.com. Today, we're joined by LJ from, hey, Cap Ryan. <laughs> from GI Jigs. How's it going? Today, we're going to be covering <laughs> some black everybody. sea bass and yeah. some white perch, right? Some black sea bass. Yeah. And don't be surprised if we get a little bit of flounder in there, too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, black sea bass, uh, they start to make their show here in June. And they're going to go, I catch them into February. Yeah. Uh, usually Valentine's Day. They kind of scoot out. Right. Um, and that's all because of water temperature. So, I think from the NOAA survey, somewhere around 45 degree. Now that's okay. 45 degrees water temperature where they are. Right. Um, so if they're down deep in the channel, 80 feet of water, which is not uncommon yeah. in February, uh, if it hits 45 degrees down there, they scoot right. out they're of the bay out. and they come back in. So pretty much what, they're, what they do is uh, they, they go by water temperature uh, they go out of the mouth of the bay. They find the warmer water. I don't know that they go to the continental shelf, but right. I mean, they get out in some warmer water where it's yeah. more comfortable for them. And then they come back into the bay. The average, according to NOAA survey, the average black sea bass length in the Chesapeake Bay is 10 inches. And that's, mm -hmm. they caught and measured thousands of them right. from basically the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay to up in Maryland waters. Okay. Um, there are common fish in the bay. Um, have been, but nobody has ever targeted them because yeah. everybody's interested in a striped bass. Well, now right. they're saying, kind of cutting us off the striped bass this year. 19, oh, yeah. I think it's going to be 19 to 24 inches. We'll 19 see what to they 24, do. yeah. We'll see what they do with it. So targeting them, target them on hard bottoms. Come June, uh, you're going to in June, July mm -hmm. for sure. You're going to find them on a hard bottom in about 12 feet of water. They're okay. down there eating like mantis shrimp and pea crabs. Any sort crabs. of crustaceans, really. Yeah, you know them little, you ever seen them little, they look like grapes because you squeeze them and they squirt yeah. out. Or yeah. they, they grow yeah. on like hard stuff on the yeah. bottom. Yeah. I catch black sea bass and they're, they're, they act like squirrels. They swim around. They got those in their mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Well, you ever notice that inside of them there's like a little worm? No, I have not. Yeah, no. next time you pinch Pop one, one open, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. look in there and it's like, so, you know, there's, there there's must be some nourishment in, right. in those things for right. them. I gotcha. um, so my favorite color uh, is blue. This mackerel, this blue rain minnow right here, yeah. is, that is my favorite lure to use with the sea bass. Yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll get a box of frozen shrimp, thaw mm -hmm. them out, and then I'll, I'll kind of strip them into small strips, you know. Shrimp or squid? I'm sorry, sorry, squid. Squid, right? Did I say shrimp? You did, you did, Dang, but it's okay, man. squid, shrimp? I knew what you meant. Well, I got a friend that uses shrimp, so yeah. shrimp's gonna work just as good. Shrimp, you will, got shrimp. I mean, anything will eat shrimp, but oh, squid yeah. definitely holds up on those hooks a lot better. It does, um, and what I'll do is is the tentacles mm -hmm. on the heads. I'll yeah, when you get the full boxed uh -huh. shrimp. I'll pinch shrimp. them off, oh, and then I'll, I'll thread it on my rain minnow. Okay. Like a night crawler, just oh, thread it on. It I stays gotcha. down there even longer. It right. really doesn't take a lot of squid, right? Uh, for the you know, it's just, just to get that little bit of scent. Yeah, that scent. Get yeah. it on there, and yeah. then when you fish it, just like you're bottom fishing for a white perch, just lightly touch it off the tap bottom. Tap it off the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. T tap it off the bottom. Drift speed. Keep yourself under a mile an hour. Yeah. Best you can. Try and to at least. <laughs> they and they'll they'll tend to hang out when you. Like, sharps on flats. I mean, it's like 10 square miles of flat. Right. I mean, it's huge. Right. I might be exaggerating, but they'll be in, in an area. When you mm -hmm. locate the black sea bass. You want to hit Mark on that fish finder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back there. Yeah. Or take your crosshairs on mm -hmm. your fish finder and right. put it there. Oh, yeah, here they are. Yep. And, uh, and a lot of times, I because I, I have spot lock, it's cheating. Right, yeah, me too, me <laughs> Anchor. too. Anchor. <laughs> right it there. It is, it's just, cheating. They will, they school together, and then when you find them, you got them. Just like, very similar to white perch. When okay. you find the white perch, you got them. Right, So right. And they're, so that's where they're going to be. The other thing is, if you grab uh, the hot pink, mm -hmm. so you get best of both worlds with this, because flounder love it. Absolutely. Flounder are going to be in the same areas as the black sea bass. Okay. Um, do the same thing with the squid tip it okay and black sea bass love hot pink also these two colors 
These two colors right there yeah. are and that's the, premier. That's the one ounce rain minnow. One ounce. And yep. so here's, here's why I use one ounce. When they're going to be, they, the best bite for black sea bass is going to be like an hour before slack and an hour after slack. Okay. When the current picks up and, and starts moving hard, right. the black sea bass, they hunker down. Right. They, they, they lay on the bottom. You'll mark, I'll mark them on my fi fish finder. They won't eat. Really? Because okay. they've already ate. Right. So go go find the next slack yeah, tide low, somewhere low else. Low tide, low high tide doesn't really matter. No just, peak low high low. Okay. But peak just tide. You want, you want that? You want that slower current? I do. I okay. want that slower drift. I want. They. I, I can't explain it, but right after, after doing this for a few years, yeah. they hunker down. They just lay on the bottom. They chill out, take a nap. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, watch TV. Like you said, they're stuff from our. <laughs> oh, they're already, they already ate. Yeah. So the rod that I like to use, okay, it's it's a uh, it's it's my rockfish rod. Yeah. It is a, a medium extra stick. fast. Okay. And I really like this Fuego. What is this? A hundred. I think they're one twenty. Yeah. One nineteen ninety nine. No, I mean like the seat, the model oh, number is yeah, one hundred. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're. The Fuego 100. It, the price point on these is really good. You don't need. I don't think it has a very high drag on here. I, I yeah, what is it, but you really you really something. don't need it for fishing sea bass, right? No, no. And spool this with ten pound braid. Yeah, you want that thin, yeah. thin braid. Ten, and the reason is this this rod will last you all. When you're in eighty feet of water, you want thin line. Right. Um, they bite. <sighs> they bite kind of soft. Mm -hmm. And you've got to have the backbone in your in your rod to set the hook. And don't okay. be afraid to put your thumb on a spool. Because yeah. I like the big casters. I can, I can just really tune in to the bottom right. and what's going on down there. I gotcha. Um, ten pound braid is going to make a big difference in your catch ratio. Yeah. So um, I got a friend that likes, he, he fishes with me quite a bit. Yeah. And his name's Walt. And he noticed that I was used, I was catching more black sea bass than he was. Yeah, what's and he running, like 20 or 30? 15. 15, even 15 makes a, 15. that difference, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was early fall, so we were in like 30 feet of water. Mm -hmm. um, but it did make a difference. Yeah. So, um, and, and this is the rod I use. I got a JLS. It's my It's my rockfish rod. And I have this reel, and I really like it. It, it works real good. Yeah. And it casts pretty good, too. I'm, I'm not oh, real yeah, good with absolutely. bait casters, <laughs> but especially on a vertical jig, this yeah. just gives you so much contact with the fish and the bottom and everything that's going on down there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that pretty much covers it. Um, now, are you running a leader? I would. Uh, yes. Yeah. I've put fluoro on my rain minnow. And I'm not afraid to put a little dropper fly on top of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With just like a feathered hook. Yeah, one aught, like a one aught, a okay. very small one aught. I'll use um, a gamagasu. Okay. Sure. Uh, it's kind of what it, it's like. Like an octopus hook. Yes, that's okay. it. That's yeah. the word I wanted to come up with. Yep. An octopus hook, and then I'll tie some flash of boo on it, and then sure. just put it up there, and put piece of squid on there right absolutely catch doubles yeah and those fish fight really hard they're a lot of fun to catch yeah, i mean like for a, a 10 inch black sea bass you get him in like are you kidding me right, <laughs> you, right you fought much harder than what you your size is yeah absolutely yeah so uh i mean the so, black sea bass is so black sea exciting. bass just kind of recap just a little bit with the black sea bass uh starting june july you're going to find them in shallow water and then as the water temperatures drop, they're going to move down to the deeper water. Mm -hmm. And all the, they're going to be on hard bottom. Yep. So fish the reefs. we got plenty of reefs out there. They're yeah, holding a lot of black sea bass. Yeah. The reefs are really charts, good. Plenty of charts online that show you where the reefs are. Absolutely. And even a lot of fish finders nowadays show you where yep. they're at. You get the Navionics chip in your fish finder. Yeah, yeah, gold, that's a, that, yeah, the chart plotter. Totally the gold chip. there. So, And then as, as the temperatures drop, you know, you know, gets cooler you know, like December, January, February. Mm -hmm. They they go down into the bottom, right? Down to the down to the bottom of the channel. Yeah. And right. uh, like I don't even change the same bait all all year. Right. One ounce of minnow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so stick with that. Hey man, how's it going? So stick stick with the one ounce because when the current moves too hard, then the one ounce won't stay down. They hunker down. Yeah. Move on. So move on. Yeah. Ba good. Go catch good some, basic. Uh, Rules Could of thumb. something else. Um, but uh, moving into the white perch also. Absolutely. Um, you want to start with lures? Yeah. This, uh, 
that's my favorite. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's it's my, an eighth that's ounce. A killer. Yeah. Um, that mimics those that little color. tiny, little tiny peanut bunker is, is what those white perch, at least around my area, feed on I'm telling um, you. in the springtime. Yes. So a couple ways I fished this, mm -hmm. all right? Um, you know, hard bottom works best for me, okay? Um, and I want to locate these white perch. I've been out there in a week trying to catch one. Right. Get, I'll put two, four rods and rod holders, and I'll put these on, those rods just cast them behind the boat. Yeah. And then just slowly go along like right. a mile, mile and a half an hour and then find the fish. Yep. And when you find the fish, just like the black sea bass, turn around. Yep. <laughs> and there they are. Yeah, absolutely. So, one of the uh one of the things that I'll do with this bait here every time I get them, okay? Pinch I those take barbs. nope. I take that trailer hook off the tail. Oh, uh, okay. And I, I put that. it in the box and I right. save it. Right. Uh, because this thing will catch me so many white perch. Yeah. Uh, I'll eventually wear this single hook out. Yeah. And then I put the other one that I got on there. By the time I go through the second hook, there's no chrome left on yeah. the side of this bait. Absolutely. It's probably two years old by now. Yeah. If I haven't lost it on a rock or a crab pot right, down right, there on right. the bottom. Yeah. Um, but that's a really good tactic to to use. Yeah, I feel like it, that's an underrated tactic too. No one, it is. I don't, I don't find people doing that nowadays. Um, yeah. with just locating fish at least. Yeah, yeah. Everyone so. wants to mark them on their fish finder and then just drop down. Is and that catch right? Them. Um, yeah. But yeah, like you said, locating fish with a lure. Yeah, I do it a little useful. bit different. And it gives me the depth. Right. Okay. Right. So if I find them in four feet of water, I'm going to, I'm going to focus like five, yeah. three, four. You're right I'm, around the same area. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and a lot of times you can follow um, those fish. Mm-hmm. Unless the calmer ants are around. Oh, okay. Then you're going a little... If the calmer ants are around, they're pushing those white perch around. Yeah. Yeah. And when they come up and they're all happy like this, they got a perch. Right, And right. the perch know uh, they, don't, they don't like these calmer ants. Yeah, and they absolutely. will move you to school. So if you're trolling along and you find a school, I'm like, what happened to my fish? If you see a calmer ant pop up by your boat, he pushed them, so go move. Yeah. Because they're yeah. not there anymore. Gotta go you got to find, find, find out where they went. That's where he's going too, right? right? Um, so, of course, perch pounders. Yeah, absolutely. No doubt about it. Uh, these are eighth and um, quarter. Yeah. Quarter ounce. Yep. We I got mean, a couple different ones. We yeah, have, yeah. I mean, green and of white. Colors, I, but is that the same for you? Green and white? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's really classic colors of the bay, right? It's our yeah, and white. Uh, some days they're on green and some days they're on white for me. It's, yeah. I don't know. Just be sure to have a few in the boat so that you can experiment. Yeah, and I, I will say what I noticed here is you grabbed all silver blades. <clears throat> the water down by you near Chesapeake Beach is yeah. a little clearer Correct. than up by me. Up in the Magothy, we have a little bit dirtier water. I really like fishing yeah. a gold blade in that dirty yeah. water. Yeah, that's that's um, a very good call so right there. It all it does depend on location. Mm -hmm. um, so fish where you live, there's white birds yeah. there. So I pulled these out for a reason. And, um, you know, if you're out there, if, if I'm out there and I'm fishing shoreline um, and there's small rockfish around mm -hmm. and I've got these three inch diesel minnows on. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, yeah, they're kind of a nuisance. You know, I use my D hooker and drop them back in the water. But don't be surprised if you catch yourself a 14, 15 inch I, I have white perch around those little my, rockfish. My biggest perch was on a four inch diesel minnow. And that was, yeah. A, yeah, I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're not afraid. Yeah. Um, and and f they're like, like on Holland Point, like I've not, ca I caught my biggest, <laughs> my biggest white perch trying to catch a rock. Absolutely. I yeah, swear. me too, me too. I swear to that. Now, talking about rod and reel for the white perch. I really like the ugly stick, it, yeah. and the reason for that is, and it, now this has a, uh, a Fuego on here. Yep, that's a Fuego 2500. 2500. What pound braid do you like to use with this? Eight or ten, something yeah. light. Yeah, m mine are, m I think some of mine even have 15. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, for weight perch, it's not too particular, I don't think. I yeah. think you can use whatever, whatever mm -hmm. you like, um, all honesty. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, as far as... Um, the tip on this rod, this is key because it's a very soft tip. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when folks are in my boat and I always tell them, 
leave your line at least as long as your rod. Well, they see the white perch and they get all excited and, and like they'll almost reel it into the tip. Right. The tip on these rods is very forgiving yeah. and it's really soft. Yep. And you're, you'll tend to keep more of them on with an ugly stick than you will right. with a rod that has. They, a, they a, do have super, super soft mouths. Uh, is I guess, that what it is? I, and they shake their head. Yeah, they violently. shake their head like crazy. <laughs> absolutely. Um, but yeah. yeah, I've noticed that too. You'll pull hooks sometimes. On yeah, white right perch. at the side of the boat. It yeah. can be frustrating, you yeah. know. And then here's the other good reason. It's like when we're done with the white perch, mm -hmm. I just break Absolutely. it in half. Throw it in the console. Right in the center console yeah. it goes and it's out of the way. Absolutely. And then uh, off we go for the black sea bass or whatever it is that yeah, we want to catch exactly. next. Um, yeah, the, I mean, that's these, are, these little rods here are just fantastic yeah for the you can't beat perch. them i mean not, they're classic too not at everyone, all everyone knows an ugly stick yeah <laughs> yeah they're great rods they last forever too yeah i mean i've got some they're probably 20 years old right <laughs> it's a great stick and then the other thing that i do when i go fishing for white perch you ever seen these little clickers that count absolutely yeah right. we used to do that all the time right so i always have one in a boat yeah. and I, t I tell everybody all right 35 clicks that's all because it takes me an hour to clean them <laughs> I mean, like 35 clicks now yeah. believe me we have a great fish fry at Absolutely. with 35 fish that's like seven and for some reason it ain't always just 35 in the cooler it's probably 40 but yeah um that's yeah. that's the my little i always trick. find i always find they taste better uh, when you don't have to clean them yeah <laughs> <laughs> when you get someone else to do it <laughs> Good All point. you got to do is throw them but in the fryer. But they taste so good. Oh, yeah. They man. are good. Oh my they gosh! Are good. And, and black sea bass are delicious. Yeah. Don't absolutely. fry them. Yeah. You'll ruin no, it. You can. You can. <laughs> Don't fry you your can black those, sea bass. They're you can do delicious. Those right on a stove top. Or yeah. On a, on a oh grill, my gosh! I can't delicious. cook, but don't fry them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, th I think that's going to get people down the road, catch some black yeah, sea bass absolutely. and maybe a couple more uh, white perch right, this year. Right. Well, thank you, LJ. <laughs> All right. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah. Take care. You too. All right. And that was Captain LJ showing us how to catch some sea bass and white perch. We want to thank him once again. Um, April 13th, we have our sale coming up. So we're going to do 15% off of rods and reels. And we're doing another special where you get 10% additional if you bring in your own used rod and reel and trade it in and you can get that 15 plus 10% off your new rod and reel. So come in and see us. Thanks for watching.